This is going to be a real short segment about a theorem um, that involves the segments of the transversals between two or more parallel lines. So first of all, I'm going to call this line 1, line 2, line 3, and line 4. And those are all parallel lines. These three right here are called the transversals. So let's go ahead and label them. So again, line 1, line 2, line 3, line 4, and they are all parallel to one another. So I'm going to state that too as well. A little hard because these are parallel symbols and L's. But line 1 is parallel to line 2 is parallel to line 3 is parallel to line 4. The segments of the transversal between two or more parallel lines. So let's, let's use these two. Segment a and segment C are segments on A transversal between three parallel lines. They would correspond with what I'm going to call B and D. And finally, the ratios, and a ratio means a fraction, of these corresponding segments are equal to one another always when you have these transversals that are separated by these parallel lines. So I could say this in many ways. I could say the ratio of A is to C, those are called corresponding segments, would be the same as B is to D. So I could go from here to here and here to here. You just have to go in the same order. So if I put in the numerator of the first fraction A, then I have to put in the numerator of the second fraction b. However, when I look at this right here, I prefer to write my fraction as a over b and then c over d. That's another way to write this. a over b would be equal to c over d. Remember that it says the ratios of these corresponding segments are equal. A ratio is a fraction and they're equal. Remember that the cross products of a proportion are equal to one another as well. So the way I've written this one, I could say that A times D is equal to C times B. And over here, I could say that A times D is equal to B times C. Hey, that's the same thing, except for over here, B, C, C, B, all that doesn't matter because multiplication is a commutative process. Um, I could go on with two more options. I could put B in the numerator over A. I could write this as B over A, but if I started with B and then put A, then I'd have to start down here with D and over C. And then just notice that I'd have B, C right here when I set the cross products equal is equal to A times D. Again, the same statement all over again. These proportions show up in city planning and logistics, all kinds of things. So I'd like to just take this idea and solve uh, for four letters. So I'm going to set up a proportion that I want to uh, help myself solve for A. So you see the number here that's been given, and this has been given. So there are corresponding segments. And then the 2.1 and the A, they're between these three parallel lines. They're on two transversals. So I just prefer to put the 4.15 over the 4.35 because I want to write this as a fraction. But if I put this one in the numerator, then over here I've got to put this one in the numerator over A. So I'll set that equal. And then now I'm going to set my cross products equal to solve for A. So I'm going to multiply those two together. So I'll have 4.15 times A equals the product of these two numbers, 4.35 times 2.1. So you would get your calculator out right now and multiply those two numbers together and get probably something like 10. And then you would divide both sides by 4.15 to get A alone, and you'd find out that A is equal to 2.20. All right, I hate to use a calculated piece of information. 
you'll find that that's going to be true about me anywhere. So while I'm going to write down that this is equal to 2.20, I'm doing it in red because I'm going to try not to touch that number in case I type something wrong on my calculator or in case I set this up wrong. If I go and use this value for A in order to find B, for example, and if A is wrong, then now B is wrong. So when I go to solve for B here, I'm kind of looking along this transversal because B is on this transversal and I'm seeing this number and I'm going, oh, how about if I use these two? Well, if I do that, then I got to use these two right here in order to set up a ratio that's equal to one another. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take 4.15 over 4.35. Whoops. So again, 4.15 over 4.35, and I'm going to set that equal to the 4.6 over the letter B. And now I'm going to set this product, 4.15 times B, I'm going to set it equal to this product, the 4.35 times the 4.6. We're going to be uh, involved with proportions a lot this semester. We can make the trigonometric functions into proportion. Um, so just a common occurrence. So you're going to take these and multiply them together and get something bigger than 16 because 4 times 4 is 16 and each of these are a little bit bigger. Again, find out what that is if you would and then take that number that's bigger than 16, probably in the range of 20, and divide it by 4.15 and when you do, you're going to get your answer for B, which is 4.82. So, all right, I've got A, I've got B. Let's do one more, and then I'm just going to tell you the answer for, um, for D. So let's just go ahead and highlight um, some, let's look for C. And then what I need to do is I need to look along this transversal and look at something that I have a number for. So I have this number right here. So, you know, do I, I'm going to use those two. Do I want to use those two? Not really. I calculated this one. So let's jump up here. How about if we use this one and this one now? And we can write um, the proportion. We can state that the 4.15 over C, so I'm going here over here, must equal the 2.1 over the 1.9. And if you would set the cross products equal and solve for C, please, you would find out that C is equal to 3.75. Finally, doing the same thing, but when I solve for D personally, I end up using this and this. I'm not going to use this row because I don't want to use that. I don't want to use that. And then I'm going to use these two. So when I go to solve for D, I'm going to put 2.1 over 1.9 equals 4.6 over D, and when I solve that for D, I'm going to get 4.16. Try it out and see if you get the same as well.